The U.S. Congressional Committee has voted along party lines to make public six years of Donald Trump's tax returns, which the former president has long tried to keep secret. The documents could be a useful insight into Trump's finances, who has always presented himself as a savvy businessman. They may also reveal any financial obligations, including foreign debts, that could influence how he governed. The vote is the last opportunity for Democrats to disclose information about Trump's filings before Republicans take control of Congress next year. The Republicans argue that this decision could set up a dangerous precedent and are against the potential release of the papers. The move comes at a difficult time for the former president, who hopes to run again for the White House. The Trump Organization was recently convicted of tax fraud charges, and earlier this week, the January the 6th riot panel recommended that the Justice Department pursue criminal charges against former President Donald Trump over his efforts to overturn the 2020 presidential election. They can try to steal. Elon Musk says he'll step down as CEO of Twitter when he finds a successor who is, as he put it, quote, foolish enough to take the job. That's after he launched a Twitter poll on Sunday evening, and over 57% of users voted for him to step down. Following the poll, Musk tweeted that there was no successor and that no one wants the job who can actually keep Twitter alive. Calls for him to quit steering the social media giant have been growing from Wall Street recently. Even investors in Tesla have questioned his focus on Twitter and if it's distracting him from properly steering the electric vehicle business, where he is central to product design and engineering. Shares of Tesla fell nearly 6% on Tuesday following Musk's poll about stepping down. Analysts say investors are worried that Musk may need to sell shares further to fund Twitter. Musk himself has admitted he had too much on his plate. Since Musk had bought Twitter in October for $44 billion, there have been mass layoffs to the firm in a cost-cutting measure and massive changes for its users from a planned paid subscription system for verified users to a surge of new right-wing users and conspiracy theorists on the platform. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has confirmed he'll visit Washington on Wednesday. It'll be his first known trip outside Ukraine since Russia's invasion began in February. The trip to Washington is set to include an address to Congress on Capitol Hill and a meeting with President Joe Biden. It comes as lawmakers have reportedly agreed to send Ukraine a 1.8 billion euro military package that will for the first time include a Patriot missile. Zelensky has previously addressed various parliaments and international organizations by video, and he has sent his wife to foreign capitals to ask for assistance. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has encouraged lawmakers to be on hand for Wednesday evening's session. Queues of cars and people wait outside a crematorium in Beijing as the country experiences a surge of COVID-19 cases. While Chinese officials only recorded five deaths on Tuesday and no deaths on Wednesday, others have looked at those figures with skepticism. They say the actual number is much higher. Some staff at crematoriums in Chongqing, a city of 30 million people, say that they don't have space to store bodies. And a health official said that the country is not counting deaths that occur in patients with pre-existing conditions. Earlier this month, Beijing took major steps away from its zero-COVID policy, which had previously forced those infected to isolate in government-run facilities or the hospital. Now, after rare anti-government protests, China is allowing people to isolate at home. Some cities have even asked people to go to work if they only have mild symptoms. Since this move, some hospitals are reportedly running low on staff, and pharmacies are dealing with empty shelves.